Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video for Cinema 4D. And in this video, I want to cover 10 uh, essential shortcuts when it comes to modeling inside this program. Uh, so first thing I want to show you is how to customize your shortcuts. Uh, so what you have to do inside the Attributes tab, as you can see, you have your layers, attributes. All you have to do is right click. And as you can see here, Customize Commands pops up. So you can just click in there and uh, whatever you see on the screen, you can just type in inside the name filter. Uh, so for example, uh, let me just type in live selection as the tool you use to select everything inside uh, the program. Uh, so as you can see, I have it uh, set to W and a default used to be nine. I'll buy and change it to W because nine is kind of across the keyboard and it's really uh, hard to reach. But W is right next to E, R, and T, which is uh, move, rotate, and scale. Uh, so that's what I have actually for number 10 is my W, E, R, T combo. And uh, these four buttons being right next to each other uh, gives you a nice uh, workflow. Uh, so you can, you know, scale things right away. Click E, you can start moving things. And if you click R, you can rotate. And W is to select different things. Uh, so for number 10, that's what I have, is these four different shortcuts. And, uh, you know, some of the shortcuts I customize to my own liking. Uh, it, and obviously you can do it as well if you don't like um, the, what I have set up here. Anyway, for um, number nine, I have uh, two modifier keys, which is Command and Shift. And it's one of those keys you're going to be using all the time. And uh, sorry about my cat. It's just scratching a chair over there. But if you click Command uh, and decide the Move Tool, Rotation Tool, or Scale Tool, you can extrude. So for example, if I click W and select this side face, click Command. I can extrude, and if I don't hit command, I can just move it, as you can see. And uh, same thing uh, for shift, it's kind of like works as a selection tool. So if I select something once, like this face, and I hold shift, I can select multiple things. And if I want to deselect, I can click command and deselect uh, my faces. So shift and command, they all work differently in each tool. Uh, to give you an example, if I delete uh, this face here, and I go inside, for example, my polygon pen tool. And uh, another thing that I changed, I just want to mention it. Uh, so I have one, two, three is for my points, edges, and uh, faces or polygons. And uh, I don't know what they are in default, but I feel like one, two, three is really easy uh, for me to go in between uh, three different modes. Uh, so anyway, if I go to my uh, edge, uh, edge mode here inside polygon pen tool, if you click command on one edge, you can just drag from one edge to another. And what you can do is patch holes and uh, you can extrude that way as well, as you can see. Uh, so there's uh, multiple things you can do with shift and command and that's what I have for number nine. Uh, so make sure you remember those. Uh, for number eight, I have extrude, uh, the actual key for extrude. Uh, not like extruding, uh, for example, you know, using your uh, move tool and then you click command and extrude. Uh, sometimes, you know, it doesn't work. So if I click these two faces and I click my command key, as you can see, uh, the extrude doesn't work. It extrudes uh, not according to normals, it just extrudes to one side. Uh, so what you can do is click D and then click on your faces. And now you can extrude uh, in the direction of normals. Uh, so sometimes, you know, your move, scale, and rotation tool when it comes to extruding, it's not going to give you a nice result. So you can actually use the extrude tool, which is D, as you can see, the shortcut. And it comes default, and I just kept it that way, even though I, I could have changed it to, for example, E. Um, but, you know, that works for me. If, if it doesn't for you, you can obviously change it. Uh, so the next thing I have is uh, B. And uh, B for me is actually beveling. And uh, it used to be, used to be, I think, a bridge tool. And since I don't use bridge that much, uh, and the reason why is because, uh, for example, if I delete this face and go inside my polygon pen tool, edge, like I said, I can do this. So it's kind of like bridging and it's much faster because I can do other things, not just bridge inside polygon pen tool. Uh, so I don't use bridge as much. Uh, so that's why I changed uh, bridge uh, to uh, B, which is bevel. And uh, obviously, Bevel is another one of those tools that you're going to be using all the time. Uh, so I, just, I suggest changing or just remembering the default shortcut, uh, which I don't remember. I think it was two buttons to click. 
Uh, anyway, for number six, I have inner extrude, and uh, as you can guess, you're gonna be using it all the time as well. Uh, so if I go inside my uh, face mode, click I, you can inner extrude. After that, you click Command, you can extrude uh, to the side, for example. You can click T, hold Shift, you can scale it up, uh, and, and so on. You know, it just uh, kind of like split second operations. So you just go back in between all the shortcuts that you learn and uh, pretty much make really quick changes without, you know, uh, going on the bottom here and selecting all the menus. And by the way, I'm inside the model, oops, I'm inside the modeling uh, layout here. That's why I have uh, this on the bottom here. And also if you right click, obviously you have all the other tools available here and all the shortcuts. Uh, but I don't. Try, I try not to use them as much. I try to remember all the shortcuts, and uh, obviously that will speed up your process in the long run. Uh, so for number seven, we have B, and then it's your beveling. Uh, for number six, uh, was inner extrude, and uh, for number five, I have KK, which is knife tool. And as you know, knife tool is really useful. So for example, if I go my uh, side view, I can click once, hold shift, escape uh, to um, apply my uh, cuts and go back to perspective view. As you can see, I have a perfect cut across my geometry. And the reason I cut all the way across is because I had visible only uh, deselected. So if I do the same thing, hold shift, click escape, it doesn't cut all the way. So sometimes, you know, knife tool, really useful, uh, making custom cuts like this and so on. Uh, so for number five, I have KK, uh, knife tool, really useful. So W, selection, KK go back, start cutting, and so on. Uh, for number four, I have two uh, shortcuts that kind of like right next to each other. It's ML and UL. So ML is your uh, loop cut tool. So as you can see, you can start cutting uh, your loops. And uh, UL is selecting your loops. So for example, if I do two cuts like this, click UL, I go to my, click two in my case, uh, to go inside my edge uh, edge mode here. And then I can select these cuts, click E, start moving the cuts around, and so on. You get the point. Uh, UL, ML are really useful. You know, making your cuts, using your loop, and then selecting the cuts, moving them around. For example, hold shift, scale. I mean, you get there's there's so many things you can do, but these shortcuts are really useful. And uh, I think they come uh, default in Cinema 4D. I didn't change them, uh, so try to remember those. Uh, for number three, I have MN, and it's your dissolve tool, or kind of like getting rid of your geometry tool, cleaning up your geometry. So if I click my W, uh, select this edge, click MN, and now I can dissolve uh, that edge. Same thing if I click one for points, MN, I can uh, destroy or dissolve my points here, as you can see. And then, for example, KK, because I lost this little cut here, all I have to do is cut a new edge. And as you can see, really fast, really useful. You can modify your geometry really fast. And uh, you're going to be dissolving all kinds of stuff, especially if you have extra points, extra edges floating around, or your geometry is giving you errors and so on. Uh, so for number three, I had dissolve. For number two, it's polygon pen tool, and it's ME. ME is kind of hard to reach because it's kind of like, you know, in the middle of your keyboard and then the left side of your keyboard. but you know, you don't use this tool as much. You kind of start with this tool in the beginning. Uh, so for example, if you go uh, to the top view, you can start, you know, making your custom polygons here. Click Command, make more polygons, just like this. If you hold Shift, you can make cuts inside your polygons. As you can see, you can cut your edges. It gives you the little cut icon. Uh, so if I jump out, I have my you know, custom uh, polygons made, click W, click three for faces, hold shift, select all your faces, command, extrude up, and you have this shape. Uh, so uh, ME, polygon pen tool, really useful. Uh, not the best combo when it comes to um, uh, shortcuts, when it comes to letters like ME, not really comfortable, but you know, sometimes my left hand can click it, so I just, I just kept it because I remembered it. And for number one, I have uh, Command R, and it's one of those things that we use it all the time. Doesn't matter what engine you use, if you use, uh, you know, physical standard, uh, Pro Render, you know, Arnold, uh, Redshift, 
Command R is your quick uh, render inside your viewport. Uh, so you can always get nice feedback. You know, for example, you create a floor, you drop a light in there, move your light around, Command R, and boom, you get to see what it looks like. Really useful. It's, it's, I mean, it's not that hard to go over here and click this, but I feel like, you know, if you remember all your shortcuts, one, two, three, uh, for your edge, face, and the point, then you have your W for selection, E, R, and T is for rotate, uh, scale, and move, and then you have all the other ones, K, K for knife, and, uh, you know, D extrude, B for beveling, and so on. I feel like if, if, you know, you remember half of these, you're going to be speeding up your process. And in my case, I can't remember most of them. Obviously, I don't remember things like, you know, slide tool, weld. Sometimes I, would, I do have to go down here and click it. Uh, but I feel like if you remember, you know, 10, 15, 20 shortcuts, and uh, it's going to be speeding up your process like crazy. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I uh, hopefully it helped you in any way. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and as always have a nice day and I will see you on the next video guys. Uh, goodbye.